Hello to my Leos. This is Queen I'm Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see right what's in your cards, Leo. The moon is in Leo. All right, so happy 7-7, seven, seven. happy 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven. Seven, seven is a master number. It's a master number. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, information is down below in the description. All right, here we have the Empress card. So somebody is definitely cutting ties with energies that have um, like judgmental spirits. Somebody is just anybody that's causing you to, you know, like um, um, any energies that's, like I said, judgmental spirits and um, that's um, causing, limiting your abundance, right? Ener just being around those types of energies, right? Here we have the um, the Knight of Pentacles here. Let's see if you can see the card. Knight of Pentacles, you're a hardworking person. Here we have we have the Three of Pentacles. And so you're 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 getting away from those energies that are living above, excuse me, living above their means and pretending that have all this going on and don't have all that going on. They mask in their pain. You're just over it. Somebody's just like, you know what? I'm just over it. Like, you're ready to live a softer life. You're ready to kind of sort of, you know, somebody is ready to be around people who are like. Um, you know, teamwork, you know, you'd rather align yourself where it's just about, we feel like we're part of the team. I'm not trying to be around keeping up with the Joneses, whoever they are, whoever they are, you know, uh, somebody's last name could be Jones. Y'all know the term, right? So, um, but, but, um, so for those of you all who don't know what the term is, you can just Google it. It's a, it's a, just a term keeping up with the Joneses, like basically keeping up with a particular lifestyle. Like I was to my get, I got to have that. Even if it's putting you a whole bunch of debt, like keeping up with whatever the na the neighbors have. I got to keep up with this particular such and such. Somebody's like, okay, you don't always have to be out there trying to keep up with people. Sometimes it's okay to sit at home and relax and just, you know, prop your feet up and just, you know, pamper yourself. Just like, you know, soak up some sun, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's good to, you know, lay up on the, lay up under your ruling luminary, right? You're ruled by the sun, right? So just be in receiving mode, like just, your chest open, you know, not the, not women, of course, whatever. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just like do some sunbathing, right? Just lay out on the sun. Just like take a, a like your, a spatula under you, flip yourself open like a pancake and just like, you know, get, make sure the sun hits the back, then flip back over, hit the top, the front part, you know, all of that. Like just get some charging up. So I feel like somebody is now fo focusing on getting away from mask wearing people and just staying connected to, you know, um, you know, here we have the two of swords, here we have the eight of cups, here we also have the queen of cups, here we have the nine of cups, here we get ace of cups and the emperor card here. Here we have the um, two of swords here. So yeah, somebody's just definitely taking the mask, I mean, somebody is like taking the blindfolds off, like just saying, I'm going to take the blindfolds off and just getting away from... You know, somebody's definitely having a tower moment. Somebody's having a tower moment. Somebody's saying, you know, I'm getting away from, you know, energies where you just, as you're making a powerful transformation, this is what the judgment card is about. You're going through a metamorphosis. And somebody just wants to live a softer life, you know, getting away from that, you know, just the keeping up with the Jones. It's kind of like, just like I said, a softer life. Somebody's trying to balance things out. Your posture of gratitude. It's kind of expensive to try to always be out there trying to keep up with this person and that person and trying to be here and be there. That's gas. That's time. That's that's a whole lot of stuff to do, right? So somebody is saying you're raising your frequency um, to, um, you know, and just pouring more into, you know, just, just pouring more into yourself. Just, you know, being more compassionate towards yourself. And that's how things are going to come to you. That's how things are going to come to you. That's how, you know, more people are going to want to, you know, spend time with you, be around you, help to cre you know, help you to create the life that you want, you know, because they see, okay, this person knows how to pour into themselves. It's almost like you'd be surprised at how much people want to give you when they see, okay, this is a lifestyle a person is accustomed to. Let me attract, let me be on a frequency so I can attract these things. Okay, this person wants to give me this. They want to give me that. They want to give me a compliment. They want to give me this. But if you're always in masculine mode, and I'm talking to men and women, if you're always racing to do this and racing to do that, when do you give people an opportunity to give you anything? 
So you, you're not saying, oh, you know, when, so when you say I'm always doing this and always, why are you always doing? So source is saying a promotion is here for somebody. So somebody has to learn how to get in position to receive in your personal and your professional life and get away from the mask wearing people, people who are masking their pain by always, I gotta, I'm, I'm a good person. You gotta always run around with a t-shirt on how I'm a good person. I'm always saving everybody else's, you know, helping everybody else's fire out. So it says, no, you don't. I need you to sit down and learn how to condition yourself, deprogram and reprogram yourself to be in receiving mode. Everything you want is coming to you. So it's just trying to increase, like enlarge somebody's territory. So it says, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you away from just that. I'm trying to get you delivered from people's opinions of you. Yeah, I'm trying to get somebody to have a breakthrough, right? Move on from past disappointments. Just move on from all of that. Get to your throne, King of Swords. You're too wise for that. So here we have the Knight of Sword, Knight of um, Wands. Just get away from these ruthless energies. Just, just do, you know, do anything for money kind of energy. So it's like get away from them. And I see you be able to defend your decision to move on without coming across as defensive. Just moving on. Then so we have the higher font card. Yeah. So I see you moving on from those types of energies. Just moving on. So because that's just that's a that's a material world, right? They just focusing on the material and you're focusing on learning how to that's toxic masculinity. That's always got to be the material situation versus the receiving. That's what's the other side of that. So I do see soulmate either coming into your life or already either in your life. But source is putting you around a whole new group of people that's going to help you on that journey. So congratulations to you there. And so it always helps when you're around people who are, you know, helping you with this uh, on your journey of just learning how to be in receiving mode. There's some people who can't even receive a compliment without thinking people are being shady because they're so busy, you know, go, just going, 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 doing for people all the time. And when somebody finally says, you know, they compliment you, oh, they, are they being shady? They being messy? And somebody could genuinely just be paying somebody a compliment, paying, right? Paying you something. Or, um, like I said, trying to do their best. Somebody's suspicious of that. Like the person could be really trying to do their best to you know, show you that they're doing their best and people could be suspicious of that. So, um, I do see, I do see, um, you know, somebody's having a tower moment. Somebody's having an awakening. Somebody's definitely having an awakening. Just, just, just do a little bit more pouring into yourself since you pour out your hardworking person. Just do a little bit more pouring into you is what I'm seeing here. Is the Emperor card again. Here we have the Ten of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Here we have the Knight, uh, High Priestess. And then we also have, and see, that's, this is where the balance is. The high pre, the higher font was the High Priest to the High Priestess. That's where the balance is for you. Um, here we have the Emperor card here. So somebody has definitely have been around some energies, like I said before, who are, um, it's their way or the highway. They kind of I rule with an iron fist. They like to start a bunch of fires. They like to start a bunch of mess. They're just very toxic kind of spirits. And just sources saying, it's time to get away from stuff. They, they like to start stuff between... They, they, like to, um, they like to get the attention off of them. So they like to start stuff between people, right? So you got to be careful of those types of energies because before you know it, They'll have you hating their whole family. They'll have you hating, you know, people that you work with in the office. They'll help you hating a whole bunch of people that you don't even know why you, you're like, I don't even know why I got an issue with that person. Like, what? I don't, I, I, I don't even know why I got an issue with that person. They're getting all a bunch of stuff started. So something has, something has complete. Something is complete. You're moving on from something, right? So somebody is in the light about something, moving on. Here we have the page of pentacles, right? So somebody is definitely focusing on possibly some kind of a new, um, uh, maybe learning something new or manifesting some new money or something like that. Somebody's trying to manifest something new. And just like I said, you and somebody are learning how to get away from people who are just kind of masking their pain in some kind of way. Um, yeah, y'all are getting away from those types of energies who are masking their pain and just moving on to financial independence. That's what I'm seeing for you. Let me see what else I was looking for here. Yeah. 
Yeah, just getting away from something. Yeah. So something has definitely ended. Something something has definitely ended. Um not I'm trying to look, I'm trying to add all this up. Yeah, something has something has ended. You're cutting ties with something. Definitely cutting ties with something. So here we have ten. So okay. So, um, yeah, so somebody, somebody is moving on from something. Somebody is trying to move on from something and just kind of learning how to pour into themselves, you know, definitely moving on from something. Yeah. So, um, just like I said, learning how to move on from past disappointments, um, and try not to have a breakdown, you know, like a breakdown in communication with yourself, you know, like the, the, all of that. So congratulations to somebody who is actually in a leadership position or some kind of money coming your way. So you have this person here, somebody's in a leadership position, this teamwork, where you feel like you're a part of a different kind of team in a, in a job or something. But again, this is about balance, 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 balance. So but again, you got to create room for that. And that's that's where the balance comes in. You want more money, you got to create balance. And that's what social is trying to help somebody learn how to do is like learning how to, if you want a softer life, you're going to have to start somewhere. Like learning how to just balance it out. Listen to your intuition. The spy is now turned on. So whoever's spying on you, they turn on. Um, your well of joy is within. Um, you know, somebody's demon is Lucifer, which is pride. So now it's time to do a third eye chakra cleanse, but you're protected and love and so you are who somebody prayed for so if you're single and and you're ready to you know get in a relationship or whatever you are who somebody prayed for but there were signs all around you um but get some fresh air you know you have the gift of clear sentience like i said before it was toxic masculinity some kind of toxic masculinity um You have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, their feelings, you know, about things. But somebody is definitely getting away from people who like to keep up with the, you know, keep up with the Joneses, living above their means, that kind of stuff, um, and just trying to live more, more of a softer life. That's one part of it. And another part of it is just, too, is uh, getting away from energies who judge people by their physical appearance, judge people by what kind of, kind of work they do, you know, judge people by, you know, their children, like they judge everything about people. So like they judge because that's how they feel about themselves. When they look in the mirror, that's when they see this water right here, they judge everything about people. What, what school people's kids went to, you know, how people's kids look. You know, they judge, you know, who you have kids with. I mean, they just, like I said, like they the judge, jury, executioner of everybody's life. So anyway, so Source is saying, because that's how they feel about themselves when they look in the mirror. So Source is just saying to you, you know, it's time to do a third eye chakra cleanse, you know. So their demon is just a demon of pride. But there was a sign. It looks like signs all around somebody. Or else are you just cutting ties with them? Cutting ties with them. There could be a Scorpio and an Aries involved. Part of some kind of organization looking at the cards. But it's time to treat yourself to a spa day. Um, just one yes from God is all somebody needs. Seriously, just one yes. But be patient. The answers are coming. Don't give yourself a headache over something. Don't give yourself a headache over something. Keep it moving forward. Let me see what else we got. Um, yeah, so when the moon is in your sign, Leo, that's when you're, you let your vulnerability be your strength, right? When the moon is in your sign. And this is where... And, um, 
seven seven which is a master number seven seven is um it's a it's a it means that your life is filled with double spiritual insight and psychic abilities this is a vibration of transcendence right so seven seven means that you're able to penetrate straight into the core of any matter it means that you're designed to release others from mental and spiritual pain it means that you're able to share your intelligence with those who are afraid to take risk so their courage bubbles up inside of them and that they are energetically brought back into balance in other words it's almost like um you're doing a cord cutting ceremony for people who are masking some kind of pain you know some kind of pain in this case it would be people who you know are masking some kind of emotional pain it's like okay like they don't when they look in the mirror they don't see themselves um a certain way um they like i said so when they feel rejected uh they just they go into vengeance mode you know they just i mean something about their energy and they go into comparing people you know whatever whatever they i don't know what but so sources saying I'm keeping you away from those types of energies and you're like I was saying your wishes are being fulfilled I see a leadership position here new money coming across somebody's path you work really hard for it as you're moving towards financial independence healthy work life balance somebody is definitely moving towards a um a balance out life or something is closing now something has been you know closed I see you having a lot of duties and responsibilities booked and busy also not and not burdened and bitter by being but it, it absolutely because your your water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it so if you're at work and you're around people that will be your earth you know you're around people that you feel like are toxic guess what they're contaminating your water your intuition your mood your feelings your all of that right if you're at home and you're around toxicity or you're in an organization and there's a bunch of toxicity it's contaminating you it's just a poor reflection on you right water is reflective you're dating somebody they're toxic all of that toxic so source is saying to you now that you're learning you're saying you're doing them a favor whoever it is by saying i'm cutting ties with them so that i'm doing them a favor right i'm doing myself and them a favor i'm removing myself from the situation i'm not going as a fixed sign you're not going to be fixated and staying anywhere where you feel like you're a toxin or they're a toxin I'm not going to let them contaminate me and I'm not going to contaminate them. So there it is right there. So let me move on from something. I need to, I need to move on from something. And that's what I see you doing. So something is definitely complete. You're moving on. Good for you, you know, and it's a, it's a win-win for you because source is actually increasing your money. Like new money is coming across your path as a result. And that's what it was. That's all it's always meant because you're a leader, Leo. You all are a very regal sign. People look up to you all, like sit on your throne. Source is saying, you know, and adjust your crown and um, um, and make it about you. You know, people are going to talk about you regardless. They're going to judge you. People say that about every zodiac sign. You know, don't think it's just Leo's. People say it about every zodiac sign. Oh, look at that person. They make everything about them. Okay, well, what you, who else you supposed to make? I mean, for real, in the big scheme of things, if you're, how are you going to pour from an empty cup? You're supposed to make sure your cup full. So here we have 17. I am independent. So the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are independent as, as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Yeah. You know, so source is saying, if you don't love you, it's going to be hard for you to attract people on that frequency who also love themselves. It's, a, it's really an act of self-care. And so source is saying, you know, you got to learn how to pour. You have to, that's, it's a balance, right? Your physical body and also your intuition. That's how you're going to know, you know, okay, that's how you're going to be in those spaces where you can, you can clap and cheer for other people. And just like the, and when it's time, your time, with their time to shine, you can clap and cheer for them. And then when it's your time to shine, they can clap and cheer for you. You can find, you can attract those people and that you are the energy you desire to attract. And that's what source is trying to help somebody. You're around abundance mindset and you're away from those limited mindset uh, spirits, right? So something has been identified. And uh, just like I said, keep it on the throne. Keep it on the throne. Adjust your crown. Learn how to live a softer life. And this is how somebody's learning how. And source is actually rewarding you for learning how to do that. 
getting away from those harsh judgmental spirits as you're trying to go through your very powerful transformation, your metamorphosis, while you all are creating your boundaries and enforcing your boundaries, right? So as you're growing and things are working out for you, it's going to expose who feels some kind of way about your growth. You know, you see it a lot in those like memes and stuff on social media. A lot of people are like, yeah, it's all fine and well and good when your level's below certain people, when you're around certain people. But as soon as you start elevating and getting a little higher, certain people, are, they got a problem with that. You haven't had enough training. You haven't had enough this. You haven't had enough that. Guess what? They're not your God. So they can't determine when it's time for you to go to the next level. Source can. Source is the one. And it's time for you to go to the next level. So, I mean, what they going to do with that? Nothing. They can't. So that's what I'm saying for you. Get booked and busy. Get to the next level because it's already here. More money is coming across your path. It's time for you to get financially independent and be around some, some like I said, some balanced out energies. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Here are the questions for the moon in Leo. First question is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Sure you can, because you're getting ready to live a much softer life. So somebody is just learning balance. You can't have this without this. Okay, you cannot have the divine masculine without the divine feminine in one body. And it's the divinity that connects both, right, that makes you whole and complete within. But that right there, it, it, without this, it would be imbalanced, right? Without this, it would be imbalanced, right? So you, that's, where the, that's where the balance comes in. So that's what I have for you all, um, Leos. I will see you all in the next reading. And congratulations to somebody who's getting a promotion. So there it is. I'll see you in the next reading. Sending good vibrations to you all week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.